Thursday morning. Sorry about the old bug guts, but something's going on up here. Left lane shut down. Flashy, flashy lights. Ooh, pretty lights. Oh, Snyder, you didn't do it. No, Snyder. You did not, Snyder. Oh, Snyder. Oh, Snyder. Snyder got tired. Snyder, Snyder got tired, went off the road. Hey, truck don't supposed to be taking a nap, Snyder. It's supposed to be upright going down the road. How many times I see that? I pray for the driver, he's not hurt, so. You know, a lot of times they are falling asleep because it's early in the morning, and you can see he went from the left right off the road. It's either, you got two things. It's either he had a left steer blowout and didn't catch it in time, got off the road and flipped him over. Or he fell asleep driving and went off the road and flipped over. But where he was at, he was lucky. But, besides all that exciting things and you had to look at old freaky bugs on my window, I hope y'all are having a good week and, uh, and uh, you don't fall asleep at the wheel. You uh, be safe driving out there and I got another eight miles and to go until I get to Ox. Ox salad dressing, that's right. My family loves her Ox. Carthage, Missouri. We uh, usually get the uh, Vidalia onion Ox salad dressing. We get the uh, coleslaw. And usually like a uh, creamy Italian or something. Those are usually our three goes, but the most favorite one we usually get is the Vidalia onion. It's the best one. And if you don't have coleslaw mix, that works great too. So with that, let's get on the road and wake up this morning at 7.30 almost. And I'm going to be a little bit early. That's a good thing. street though, not on the building. So I know where I'm going, gosh darn it. I don't know if that's the exit or the entrance. Or both, either or. Take a pick. And I don't think they're here yet. Or some people are. But let's see, is there a shipping department? I don't even know where I'm unloading. So, ah, I think I know where I'm unloading. Right there where there's two. I think that right there in front of me. Where the two yellow poles are. I better go check in. I'll be right back. I've never been here before. Well, I was right. It goes right there. So, I back up. This is a nice one. They used to use my hose and they got their own pump. So, easy peasy. You're like, not used to that luxury, you know. But, Ma, if you want to know, I tried. I tried getting me some free sass, but... I don't think, I don't think some of these, uh, some people are a little more charitable with what they produce. You know. Some aren't. <laughs> but, at least I know I haul the oil to make hot salad dressing, so, y'all like the hot salad dressing. Do you thank me? 
if it wasn't for tanker drivers like me, you wouldn't have your wing sauce and, and your, your sweet Vidalia onion. All right, here we go. All right, I'm on this big old hump. What now? Be right back. Man, happy Thursday. So, no, I didn't do a video yesterday. I'm sorry. But I tried watching that stupid debate. Couldn't handle it. Too much anxiety. You know, you got state-run media that's one-sided. It's only fact-checking one person, not fact-checking the other person. One person just lying the whole time so they don't get fact checked. No one can be uh, true to anybody. And if you ever believe what a politician says, you're stupid to begin with. You know, for the I'm 46, but I remember back in the 90s it was rock to vote. You know, Clinton and all that other stuff. Even back in Bush Senior, they've been promising the same shit since I was a little kid until now. They haven't done anything. So you really believe and you really would vote for somebody that keeps spilling you the same old shit that they don't do? You're stupid. Just uh best thing to do is go about your day, work your job, pay your taxes, no matter what, who's going to be in the office, you're going to have to pay taxes and continue to work. Now, if it starts affecting your work and your daily life, that's a different story. And I think with uh, going to the grocery store, I think everybody's life's been affected these past three and a half years, you know, with inflation and costs. And look at the price of vehicles. Good luck trying to buy a new truck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good luck. Let's say that. Some people are more fortunate than others. And uh, I only lucked out because certain circumstances on my truck <laughs> but uh say like a new dodge ram 1500 classic plain jane 56k same truck that was fifteen thousand dollars when i was 21 or some shit uh, i don't know look at the price of steak i can't afford i can't afford to buy rib, rib eyes and t-bones and i make decent money all right enough griping and groaning about daily life and what's going on and the world being in flames and stupid people running around eating cats and dogs and running their cars in the buildings and normal mayhem I guess you know y'all be safe stay classy right? humble and kind that's right just make sure you watch over your cats and ducks and pets we are done and we're heading out sorry ma I ain't getting no freebies today. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it don't. But I'm afraid, sorry to disappoint you. No free hot sauce today. We'll have to go to the grocery store and get your Vidalia onion. So make sure you put it on your grocery list so I don't forget it this weekend. Coleslaw and Vidalia onion. And ranch. We need ranch. We haven't had ranch in a while. Yeah, all three. Clean out the old dressings and throw them out and bring in the new ones. So right now I'm going to Carthage. Got to go back to uh, KTTR and Liberty. And uh, drop this off and check it in and uh, find out what they're going to do. I have no idea yet. It's a mystery. And you know what? And that's just trucking. It's always a mystery. And don't ever make plans because it could change the last hour. So let's get our butt down the road right away.
I don't know. Her mama wanted me to get more up and close. Well, here you go. I don't think you get more up and close than this. There you go, mama. There's a big old tin can on top of that. Keep water. Ooh, it's dirty. It's oily. It got a leak. There you go. I gotta go in and uh, use the bathroom. I think I just got my next marching orders. So, to be continued. The tank over there is what you call a howitzer. You know, like the old World War II, these are all behind Jeep. Used to be just a cannon. Well, that has wheels, tracks. So, I won't. Hmm. Let's see, tank or motorcycle? Hmm, both are dangerous. <laughs> Hey, we're going to the sap to any crazy stuff, but I said I gotta use the bathroom. My next marching orders, man, I gotta load in the morning in Blair, Nebraska, and take it down to Houston. <sighs> Whatever for Monday morning. That means leaving early Sunday morning. Oh crap, oh love. Oh, they moved the stuff. Ooh, pretty. But that's my destination. Here's your samurai sword if you're a pimp and you like the cheetah skin. <laughs> Here's your weird stuff you could buy in the uh, truck stops. As you can see, you need a bloody sword. Oh hey, look, I like the cow, the chicken, and the thing, you know, and the cute little piggy. But then you get all this cool stuff. Oh, he, he passed away. Bye, Dookie. <laughs> and I got these cute uh, stuffed animals now. So Christmas gift and a chicken puppet. And all your angels and fairies. Some of them are pretty uh, pretty good. Your little mushrooms. Your little characters now. These are cool. Little collectibles. And for us dog lovers, yes. Yes, they have these cute little doggy. Your little demon duck devil dog. The one with the, the potion. Those are cats, I think. And then a wolf with a bunny costume, I think, in the back. And a little bee brooch. And then your wolf, cowboy stuff, your knives. Your big, big knives, chopping stuff. And then, uh, yeah, your alien doing yoga. And your hot whatever ladies. So there you go. <laughs>
Whatever is trying to leave. Put a G in front of B, they got LGBT! Swing wide, I couldn't put in a turning lane because all that truck and all them that sign in a way. Man, I wish I had a preloaded trailer now. I have to go to Blair, Nebraska tomorrow, so I gotta go about 50 miles north. 10 30 tomorrow, pick up my load. I have a seven hour drive pad back home, so I'm not gonna make it home till about 7 7 30 p.m. Depends, I'm gonna try to go a little early instead of 10 30, I'm gonna try to go like 9. Find out where I'm loading in Blair, Nebraska. Maybe I can go early. I'll just have to see. Right. It is dusty. They need to spray some water on our lot. Let's park it right next to this Barto trailer. Uh oh, someone got red tagged. Here you go. Easy peasy, butter easy. Okay. I'll be right back on the other side of this cliff. Just hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, hi. I'm on the other side of the cliff. I already know I'm not checking in in the office, bull crapping with all the fellas, talking about weird things I've seen on the road and crazy stuff and work stuff and talking about honey, molasses, cooking, all sort of good stuff. Y'all wonder what us guys talk about. Well, we talk about lawnmowers. Honey, molasses, cooking, politics, a lot of stuff. Uh, weird places we've seen and the weirdest things we've seen on the road. And coolest places we've been to and the most crappiest, sketchiest places we've been to. That's what we talked about for about an hour. So those are the topics those guys will talk about. So if you ladies, any women want to know what truck drivers talked about, there you go. You know, you sit in the, whole, sat in the break room and chop the shit. Didn't talk about cars, didn't talk about mechanics or welding. Times we talk about the weather. Yeah, that seems boring, but we do. Especially in the winter. It's more in the winter time we talk about weather. You know what crap I drove through? And you have to story, you have to hear a story, you know. Four foot of snow and chain it up, and it's like, we all been through it as truck drivers. <laughs> Knowing that, uh, y'all enjoy your Thursday. I will be uh, grabbing this load and blare tomorrow of lactic acid. Which, uh, when I make hot sauce, the haze and the ferment process builds lactic acid. I have to take a lot of that out. Because, uh, you know, too much lactic acid in the tummy gets you... Oh! That's what happens. So, I call... If you're constipated, you want some lactic acid. <laughs> That's like taking a bunch of x lax I'll tell you. It, it is. I know from experience. Because I make hot sauce and I deal with the lactic acid. So, I happen to have too much uh, hot sauce and salsa. Yep. Is what it is. But I gotta bring that down to uh, basically Houston area for Monday at 11:30. So I'll be leaving the house at about 8 a.m. Sunday, heading through Dallas. Probably shut down halfway between Dallas and Houston, and uh, on Sunday. So I will see you Sunday, Sunday night. And uh, y'all have a good weekend, a good Friday, a good Saturday. Enjoy the weather if you're getting it. Because remember, this guy loves you. This fat crazy truck driver, he always loves you. Because you know what? How can I not love you if you don't watch my if you watch my videos? I mean, I love you. And you know who else loves you? As always. No matter what, I, I'm going to die one day, so, you know, Jesus Christ, he loves you. He always will love you. With that, to the do, to the dee, I'll be the saying, child, goodbye. <laughs>